As a man, there is a trap that you can easily fall into on the road to greatness. And what this is, is that focusing all of your energy onto one area of your life is acceptable. Now, these areas of life are wealth, business, health, relationships, women, combat, network. All of these key areas, these buckets that you need to fill as a man. And some people believe that if you just focus on one of these, you will become great. And I see these guys, I see them where they focus on one thing and they think that they've made it. They think that they have become great. These rich guys that are out of shape, don't know how to pull, but they're, they're all right because they're rich. The fat guy who's got a few mil in the bank, but he's gonna die when he's 40. Like, that's not a high value man, you need to master all areas, all of these buckets you need to fill as a man. And this is why I am starting to fill a bucket that I have been neglecting for a long time. I'm learning how to fight. And recently I've been getting more into it. I've been training boxing and Muay Thai, which is Thai kickboxing. And the first and probably the most obvious reason for this is because I don't want to be a rich guy who can't throw a punch if pushed comes to shove. I want to be able to defend myself and others if altercations come about. Now, I'm not learning to fight so I can go out and just I'm not going to be like that. But I just want to know that I am comfortable in a fight situation and can defend myself and those that I'm with. I'm not going to become some Bill Gates looking dweeb that has all the money but eats freaking insects and can't have a fight. No gonna be James Bond, a man who has all the buckets filled and he's an absolute G. Great with women, he's rich, he's got a sick mindset, he can fight, he's in shape. So that is who I'm aspiring to be as a high value man and that's who you should aim to be as well, James Bond. <laughs> now there is a second reason that I am learning how to fight and for those of you in my UK audience you will know that when you are on a night owl it's a very hostile environment. It's not a fun place to be. When you go out for like a night out in England, there's just fights going on everywhere. Like you're in a bar fight, go to a club, multiple fights going on throughout the night. It's just not nice at all. It's just such a shit place to be. Now, when I was in my second year of university, right before I dropped out, like a legend, I was living in Leeds, more specifically Hyde Park. And for those of you who know Hyde Park, then, you know, it's a shithole. It's just one of those places that makes you feel sad when you drive through it. You just don't want to be there. And back when I was living there, there was this one Saturday night that stuck out. So we went for a night out. Some friends went to the club, had a good time, probably saw some fights out, but didn't get involved. And I got a taxi back with my friend, just dropped off at hers. And then I lived around the corner. So I just started walking back to mine. It was about 3 a.m. I'd had a, a fair few drinks and I turned the corner to go around. And as soon as I turned the corner, I knew I was fucked. <laughs> I knew that shit was gonna go down and I was not gonna be all right. So I turned the corner, was walking along, turned the corner and there were four guys all with hoods up because obviously 3 a.m. it gets really bright out and you wanna shout at your face or whatever. So they were stood there as if they knew that I was coming. They immediately grabbed me, shoved me up against a wall, roughed me up, shall we say. And then one of them just grabbed me and said, give us all your fucking money. And I said, well, sir, since you asked so politely, and I gave them all my cash and they, yeah, they punched me about a bit and I couldn't really do anything, half drunk and there was a lot of them. And yeah, so then they would started to stagger off and then they were going like this. I, I went like this to turn and one of them grabbed my arm, pulled it. I was thinking, oh, bloody hell, bloody hell. So basically he grabbed my arm and pulled out a Stanley knife, which cut along my arm and yeah, just started bleeding. I don't know how else to say it really. So I still have this, the scar there be cool if that was a lot bigger but it was deep I swear <laughs> and as you can see it wasn't massive it wasn't life-threatening I think this guy just wanted to prove how much of a cool dude he was mugging people at 3 a.m so that's off to that guy if you're watching so anyway I went back to mine 
I got a kitchen roll and just did the classic drunk student, it'll be all right, ran under a tap and just covered it in kitchen roll. I'm quite all right, Barbara. I ran it under a cold tap. I really... And then what happened was I got a text. <laughs> I got a text from this girl. And obviously, boys, you know what happens when a girl texts you at 3 a.m. I'm not going to sleep. So she says, oh, will you come round? I said, I don't, I don't think I don't think tonight's a good night. Um, and she was like, oh, Rick, please, like, I'm lonely and shit like this. I was like, was in my mind, I was thinking, you should really be in hospital right now, but there's this fit girl asking you to go around at 3 a.m. So I went round <laughs> and basically spent the night with her. Um, I'm up in the air and she had more kitchen roll, so we just did that. And then we uh, slept in separate beds. And <laughs> when I woke up, I went back to mine and then unraveled it didn't realize how bad it actually was it was all like open and bleeding and shit like this and then i just sort of started repairing it myself getting the old uh, the steri strips out just started closing the wound a bit of um antiseptic that's what it, i think that's what it is and yeah that was uh that was my night now this isn't for any sympathy or anything like that although if you do get knifed you can use it for sympathy with women and it works. <laughs> but this is just a bit of backstory of why I want to now become an absolute weapon of a man. Now I'm not gonna let this happen to me or anyone I know ever again. Like That's just not happening. And it's taken me a while to sort of, from that happening to then having this mindset. And I think a lot of that comes down to the people I'm now hanging out with. They've been boxing for years. They train Muay Thai. So I'm really going in at the deep end getting my face smashed in t two times a week, which is humbling, but it's got to be done. So if you are working on your, like if you're in the gym, you're working on your business, you're creating content, but you're not fighting, then you are missing out. You need to become James Bond. This is probably one of the most important buckets that you can fill as a man. You need to be able to protect your tribe. And to be honest, it's still early days, but I just know that one day I'm just going to be a fucking Mortal Kombat character. You do not want to catch these elbows, boys. All right, so I hope you enjoyed this and I will see you in the next one.